Hello and a warm welcome to West Yorkshire. We're at Ellen Road, a stadium first opened way back in 1897. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined by Lee Dixon. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Leeds United facing Manchester City. Well, thank you, Derek. The excitement at the start of any game is almost tangible. Looking forward to this one. The crowd are up for it. Players look like they're going to have a really good go at this game. Can't wait. Patrick Bamford. De Bruyne. Well, they could run onto it here. And providing width. Will he play it in? Opportunity! And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin. Well, here's the replay, Derek. I love a ball into the box. You know that. It's a beauty. And then just look at the finish. Reads the flight perfectly and absolutely smashes it beyond the keeper. There's just no stopping that. Mares. Gundogan. Now Mares. Walker. He could pick out a teammate. A glorious chance. Can they keep it out? Well, he got the touch on the ball. And so a corner it'll be. And crossing towards the far post. That's all they can conjure for now. Dallas in position here to protect the ball well he stopped them just when they looked menacing and he's made headway De Bruyne fine tackle there to prevent the chance useful looking ball Stuart Dallas Oh, what an opportunity! Well, the keeper committed himself. Well, he's given a corner, their referee. <laughs> Played into the centre of the box. And not an attempt he'll be terribly proud of. Corner kick played in and fisted away. Mares. And the referee has pointed to the spot. He's given the penalty. And now, let's see if they can level it up. He's been admonished by the referee. He's now got to walk something of a tightrope. Yeah, he knows exactly where he stands. Look at the referee, how he's told him off there. No yellow card, but certainly knows what the referee's thinking. Short corner it is. In by Sterling. And that's what they needed, Manchester City. A goal to level matters here.
Well, here's another look at it. The short corner really upsets the defenders in the box and he gets up for the header and quite frankly, it's a lovely finish. Brilliant goal. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Yes, yeah, a show of emotion and why not? They're back in this, game on. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Rodri, Foden. Lovely ball over the top. Oh, that is a majestic goal! Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, we can see it again here now, and it all starts with the ball over the top, perfectly weighted. There's still a lot of work to be done, but the keeper presents the near post on a plate, and he's punished. That's quite remarkable. Well, all the hard work has paid off, but the manager knows a lot more has to be done to secure this game. And back now with Ilan Melier. Not a bad pass it was. Foden, Rodri, must be, serious miscue in terms of the strike, easy for the keeper. No, he won't have an easier shot to save today, that was really awful finishing from the attacker. De Bruyne, has eyes for goal. What a save it was to keep them in with a shout. Well, he has kept them in the game. If that goes in, it's all over. And De Bruyne firing it over. Not away completely. Not high quality defending. Beautifully timed. Aguero. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. City pushing forward with options available. He's had to go for it. Wins the ball. Bodies forward and the break looks on. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. And he might be in here. Can he finish? It's still alive. Oh, they drama here. All level again. Incredible scenes. Well, let's have a look at that replay. As a defender, or all the defenders in the box, you've got to be a pessimist. You've got to expect something bad to happen. It's back off the keeper, and now it's in the back of the net. And there's the whistle, all even at the end of 90 minutes here. An intimate venue, always a fine place to take in a match, Vicarage Road. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon, and we're fully convinced this game will live up to its billing. It's Watford taking on Chelsea. Played in there. But it can't get through. Possession one. Giroud. And a timely intervention. Well, strong play here. He might be able to profit from the wide position. 
Conte. Giroud. And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. Well, here it is again. You're trained from a young age to get in those sort of positions. And never in any real doubt he'd finish that. Cool and composed. The ball with Marcos Alonso. Mateo Kovacic. Werner. It's with Giroud. Thank you. Can they find a gap in the defence? Giroud. Real chance. Well, it wasn't a simple save to make. And Chelsea pushing to add to their lead. It'll be a corner. Tom Cleverley. Dini. And will it be the leveller? A goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, that's like the other end, the striker putting it in the net. The goalkeeper has to keep it out. And what a brilliant way to do it. And he's fired over the corner. Oh, it's gone in! A significant deflection, leaving the keeper flummoxed. Well, my initial opinion was to blame the goalkeeper, but here we get a better angle of it. Absolutely nothing it can do. A huge deflection. Keeper, no chance. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Werner. Mateo Kovacic. Can he put it away? Serious miscue in terms of the strike. Easy for the keeper. No, he won't have an easier shot to save today. That was really awful finishing from the attacker. Making progress. Tammy Abraham. Must take the lead here. And a goal! Well, it is good play. You might question the defending, but I prefer to be positive. Really good build-up and an easy finish. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Mount. And breaking at pace with Menis. Kovacic. And now with Abraham. Could be! Still could be dangerous. And I think the threat has been averted. Full time then, the referee's whistle and Chelsea victorious. That's the big headline, Lee. Well, it was tight, wasn't it? Just done enough in the end, I suppose, to deserve the win. Tactically, a really good game, Derek. And I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he's always a danger, isn't he? No more so when he grabbed that goal. He never disappoints me when I watch him. He's just too good, simple.
Anfield, one of the most storied venues anywhere in the football world. It is Liverpool up against Crystal Palace. Yeah, great to be here. How lucky are we, Derek? We get paid for this. Astonishing, really. Looking forward to a fabulous game. I'm sure the fans are too. Should be great. Benteke, on the ball, Andros Townsend. And fine work from Liverpool to win the ball back. Mane. Accurate ball in towards the near post. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that, and it was close. Well, it's all about timing. You've got to wait for the ball to come down, and he's very, very unlucky. Well, that was the chance to take the lead, and the manager's frustration is there for all to see. Jairo Riedewald. Now the attack fizzled out. And Mohamed Salah now. And he might be through here. Can he finish? Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one-versus-one -one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. Over it comes. I must admit, I thought he was going to score with that header. Yeah, it was a quality cross, and he gets up well, and it's just wide. And that was a very fine read. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Klein. An effective ball. Benteke, in with a chance, could be, and a goal to open the scoring, no wonder they're celebrating. Well, what a time to score, the forwards are in absolute dreamland, the defenders slugging their way back to the half-time team tour, they're not going to enjoy this. And Riedewald has it. It's with Milivojevic. Lovely ball over the top. And the alarm bells are ringing. Oh, denied by the post. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. And so, it will be a corner. Well, Wilfred Zaha, very difficult to subdue in the first half. Lee, your assessment? Well, his manager will be delighted with him. He's been spot on in this game, hasn't he? Energy, imagination, desire and a steely determination. Keen to take it short here. Really getting stuck in. This might be ideal for the counter. Can they keep it going? Well, possibilities inside the box. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. Over it comes. And a goal! to really bolster things for them two in front well I think the players realise what they owe this coach lovely sight to see them celebrating with him well here's the replay and it's a decent set piece and I bet he can't believe the time and space he's got to simply nod the ball into the net no jump needed, too easy No wonder he's delighted. They've been bossing this game up to now. Mane. Lovely ball over the top. And failed to keep himself onside, unfortunately.
Will it be sufficiently imaginative? He made it look simple, really. And it's a case of just five minutes left. Fabinho. Here's Milner. Origi. Real chance. Oh, what's an opportunity. It's been squandered. Well, you dream of 1v1s as players. He's had one and he's squandered it big time. And here we are at one of the great venues for football anywhere in the world, Old Trafford in Manchester. It is Manchester United and they take on Fulham. Yeah, thanks as always, Derek. It's a pleasure to be here. Anticipating a really good game today. The atmosphere is great. Certainly buzzing from the spectators' point of view as we head towards kickoff. Hopefully, we won't be disappointed. Cavani. Bogba has it. Greenwood. Juan Bissaka. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here it is again. Lovely disguise on the cross. The pullback catches out the defenders. And then from there, the keeper had little chance. Two on one, left completely exposed. And it made for a simple finish in the end. Greenwood. Now Paul Pogba. Here's Juan Bissaka. Bruno Fernandes. Cavani. And Pogba! Great save by Ariola. Pogba. Bruno Fernandes has it. Cavani. Outdoing his opponent. And that puts them in position. Splendid save from the keeper, danger averted. Yeah, he didn't have long to react to that, but you have to praise his reflexes there. Oh, he knows that could have been the game right there. You can see his frustration as well. On Guisa. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. This might be ideal for the counter. Juan Bissaka. Bruno Fernandes. Pogba! Rifled against the post, but back in play. He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, here we can see, Derek, from this better angle, it's all about the technique. When you're volleying a ball, it's all about timing. Let it get to the right place for your foot to make the connection. And there you go, in the back of the net. Well, enjoy the good days as a coach. It can be a roller coaster ride, I can tell you that. Tete. Loftus cheek. And good pressure high up the pitch. Mason Greenwood. Juan Bissaka. It's opening up for them. Pogba! Now, keeper in control. It'll be a corner. And Reed with it. He could pick out a teammate. Reed. 
And this would reduce the deficit. Well, body in the way. Diallo. Good strength to keep the ball. Well, potential danger. McTominay. Can he take the chance? Will he finish? It's a stunning save by Alphonse Areola. Hello and a warm welcome from the English West Midlands. We find ourselves at Molyneux. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me in the commentary position is the former England defender, Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers facing Everton. Space for Wolves out wide. Neves. Nelson Semedo. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Determined defending. Oh, that's a super ball over the top. Oh, in with a chance. Oh, tremendous goal. Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, we can see it again now, and it really is a difficult ball to defend against. Over the top and into space, and then the brute force and guile in equal amount sets up the chance to score. And he doesn't disappoint, does he? A decisive clearance it was. Moutinho... Connor Cody now. Can they get in behind them? Ruben Neves. And return to Neves. Oh, big opportunity. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long. And this match is level again. Well, we see it again here, and the pace and accuracy of this passing is a dream. And sometimes, with all the time in the world, you can fluff your lines, but he composes himself and slips it past the keeper beautifully. Well, we all saw that equaliser coming, Derek, didn't we? And so did he. And that pass could be troublesome. It's fair to say that is a moment he would love to have back, Lee. Well, I would have gone for power, but he went to place it in the corner. Not very good at all. And now the delivery. And the keeper deals with the danger. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. The manager's trying to get his message across on the touchline. They've just got to keep pushing. Surely a goal will come. Keane. An effective ball. And the cross into the middle. Well, still an issue here. Well, he dragged the shot a bit. Not by much, though. was a terrific venue to watch a football match I'm talking about the Emirates Stadium here in North London I'm Derek Ray with me for commentary is Lee Dixon and without doubt a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement it's Arsenal and they take on Norwich City yeah thank you Derek I'm really looking forward to this both teams certainly capable of producing some entertaining football hopefully we'll get that Temu Puki Getting forward. And well, he stopped them just when they looked menacing. A 
An attack full of promise. Can they get in behind them? And now Jacka. Partey. Obama Yang! And a goal! That will do it! They've been pushing for it, and now they've been rewarded. Well, we see it again here. It's a peach of a through ball, and he takes full advantage of the time he's given. It's an accomplished finish, too. A chance to revisit the goal. Aaron's and teammates to play it to Oliver Skip and well, they might be onto something and he's done it parity again a magnificent game unfolding well here's the replay and in many ways it doesn't do it justice how patient they were in the build-up and because he's on his own he collects himself and he finishes it perfectly past the keeper. Well, it's not easy being a manager, and that's why they've let him down a bit there. Well, Arsenal had total domination as far as possession is concerned, but that doesn't lead to goals necessarily. They haven't created enough. Too slow up front, midfield, very average. The coach, he's not happy at all. He wants more from this team. Xhaka. Good looking cross. Oh, that was simply miles off target. Dear me. Oh, close your eyes when you're watching this one. It's horrific. Granite Jacker. Thomas still pushing for a winner. Pepe. This is why we adore this game. Late drama, and now they're in front. Well, it looks like the game is over, but no, there's another chance. And there it is, back of the net, it looks like the winner. Well, here we see it again, a lovely pass is a pure quality passing. Fluid as you like, and he takes full advantage of the time he's given. It's an accomplished finish too. Hello from one of the most southerly points on the English map. We have travelled to the Vitality Stadium. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And everyone here on Tenterhooks, you'd have to say with good reason, it's Bournemouth up against West Bromwich Albion. Yeah, Derek, cracking atmosphere as usual here. That will lead to a nervy, energetic start. Frenetic, fast play to begin with before it all settles down. I'm really looking forward to this one. Okay, Kakuju. Lovely first touch. That wasn't easy. It's with Yokushru. He takes aim. The crossbar got in the way. Well, so close to breaking the deadlock, but not to be. The woodwork came to the rescue, Derek. Is it going to be? A oh, tremendous block. He could pick out a teammate. Cook. Solanke. Cook. Lerma. We wondered if a goal was forthcoming, but it has arrived now. Well, finally, the deadlock has been broken. Not long to go now. How will that affect the opposition? Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. Well, let's have another view of that goal.
Okai Yokushu. Patient build up at the moment. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Well, he strayed offside just as it looked promising. Sadly, from his point of view, wayward to say the least. Well, it's a shocker. I wasn't very good at heading, Derek, but I could have done better than that. And hello from one of the newer venues in English football, the Thank Amex you. Stadium on the South Coast. It's Brighton and Hove Albion up against West Ham United. Yeah, really looking forward to this one, Derek. Excite me, come on, let's see some entertainment. Nice finish. Lingard. They're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Jared Bowen. Useful looking ball. Still alive. Much more straightforward for the keeper this time, but previously he had work to do. Well, double bubble. He gets the ball in the end, but the first save he makes, absolutely brilliant. Well, the crowd sense a bit of good fortune. No kidding. Players have to be brave now. Got to use that energy. Don't waste it. Oh, in with a chance. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here it is, a striker's bread and butter, simple finish, but it's the positioning that gets him the goal. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Ball over the top, intended for Jesse Lingard here. Declan Rice. Lingard... Oh, could it be Antonio? A goal! Real excitement, a back-and-forth type of game. Now they're level. Well, here's the replay, and as we see, it's a class ball through to split the defence, and he composes himself, coolly slides it past a lonely keeper, who will be asking questions about where his back four went to. Well, you can see how happy the manager is. They've shown real grit to get back into this. Bisuma. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Bossard. And he takes it on. Now the conclusion, he's missed the opportunity. Yeah. And hello to you from the English Midlands. We're here at the this King Power the King Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box as always by Lee Dixon and very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Leicester City up against Southampton. Yeah, thank you Derek, I'm really looking forward to this. Both teams certainly capable of producing some entertaining football. Hopefully we'll get that. Indeedy. Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? I don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead. Well, that was the chance to take the lead, and the manager's frustration is there for all to see. Romeo. And he's broken free. Well, sadly, from his point of view, wayward, to say the least. Well, it's a shocker. I wasn't very good at heading, Derek, but I could have done better than that. And Jose Perez with it. Tielemans. 
He's got the right idea with that pass. He can't hold on to it. Ings. Half an hour remaining then. Vardy. And he was in the right place to intercept. Might be a chance here. Vardy! There it is! The first goal of the game, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. Good value for it. Well, as we can see, it's all about the technique. That's where the power comes from. Blistering shot. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, he can't let the frustrations get the better in, Derek. His players need help here. Romeo. Ward Prowse. Can he get them level? Well, for power, 10 out of 10. For placement, maybe 8. Substitution for Leicester City, coming off the pitch. Number 9, Jamie Vardy. Coming onto the pitch. Number 14, Luigi in the action. He'll try his luck here. Oh, just over the top with a nicely played free kick. Well, he'll have practiced that time and time again on the practice ground. Just over. And hello, wherever you're watching. Welcome to North London. My name is Derek Ray. And with me is my commentary partner, Lee Dixon. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Tottenham Hotspur facing Burnley. Yeah, thank you, Derek. Looking forward to today. Should be in for a good game. Let's hope we see a quick start from both teams. Set the tempo for the rest of the match. Number five. It might be on for them. Taylor. And a useful cross. And the goalkeeper up to the task. Well, yeah, it's a decent save, but if he lets that in, you'd be asking questions. Harry Kane. Lamela. Ndombele. And Hoybier with it. Can he find the net? Well, the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Kane. Well, it could be on for him here. Watered by the post. What an important piece of defending. And he's knocked it out of play, so a throw-in is the decision. McNeil. That's a well struck pass. And he takes on the shot. And the keeper throws himself at the ball. Can they prize them open now? Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, the goalkeeper has earned his corn there. A fabulous save. 